Hey guys, this is a quick unboxing video for the Chauvet DJ 4-Bar LTBT. I just took the lights and the stand out of the box. I'll set them up and plug them in so you can check them out. So here's everything that came in the box. We've got the stand, the bag for the stand, the lighting kit, the bag for the lighting kit, the foot switch, and a front pouch to put the foot switch along with the power cable, which is also included. And then in addition to that, you have a remote and you have mounting brackets for additional lights that you can put off to the sides of the light set. So I will now set it up so you can uh, check it out. I'll turn it on for you. So to attach the foot switch, you're gonna wanna plug in this cable on the underside and you'll be lining up this little divot right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little thing sticking out and you'll line that up with the thing right here. Just like that, tighten it down. Then we're gonna throw it up on the pole. You can of course do this when it's lower. Then once it's up on the pole, you just wanna tighten this down to keep it secure. And speaking of secure, there's also this locking mechanism. So although you wanna tighten the pole, you can additionally put this into the hole that you choose. I don't know if you can see the holes, um, but just as one more way to make sure that this thing doesn't collapse. Then pro tip, although it does include a power cable, I like to use these longer ones sold separately just so that I don't have to dig out a special extension cord and attach it. You know, it's like taking two steps and making it one step. But these aren't terribly expensive, so it's always a good call to have these. And if you do get one of these, I highly recommend some kind of cable tie. Um, I recently got these ones. I think they're called Bongo, but um, pretty cool. So the power connects right here, like so. And to make things more elegant, there's two methods. This is the quick and easy method is just to kind of wrap the cables around the stand. The other is if you have cable ties, you can actually use the cable ties to secure the cables on the stand this way. So that way they stay nice and tidy. And in this case, what you'd want to do is run all the cables down the back of the stand. I do the same thing with speakers as well. So with speakers, it'd be the speaker cable, the XLR and the Edison cable, just running lengthwise down the back so it looks nice for something like a wedding. All right, so once you have it all plugged in, you've got your remote and your foot switch. So I'm gonna hit the remote. And uh, so I hit the blackout button. So if I wanna actually black it out again, I'll hit that again. And that turns off and again, and it turns on. So that's nice and handy to be able to do that with your feet. And to use your hands, you can, you know, adjust the colors. So I don't know if you can see the colors showing up, but um, yeah, there you have it, folks. Um, you're able to go through different color options. Let me turn this around so you can see the color a little better. Um, and yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You've got, you know, four park hands on a T-bar. And you've got a foot switch that can turn it on and off and also run through programs, which in this case, it looks like right now the programs are just changing the color. But of course, you can also make this a sound activated thing. So if I hit sound and let's see if I, if I make noise, it changes color. So, of course, if I was like playing hip hop music or something, I'd be changing to the beat. So this is a pretty simple lighting kit. I do have a more exciting lighting kit by Chauvet, which is the Gig Bar Move. Um, so that adds a bunch of other features. I'll make a separate video about that. Um, so I bought this because I actually have an audio visual event where they wanted um, just stage lighting. And this was probably the simplest solution was just to set this to white and use this instead of having to buy some elaborate stage lighting kit. 
So I'm, I'm happy with the purchase. I, I, I've used these before with another DJ company, so I already knew what I was getting into. And they're pretty straightforward. They don't have all the bells and whistles of the gig bar move, but if you're on more of a budget, this would be a great option to start out because this is a great value. And um, if you also wanted to say complement something more elaborate, uh, this works too. So there's a good chance I'll probably bring this on some of the weddings to just add uh, a little bit more on top of the gig bar move that I'll already be bringing out. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Chauvet DJ 4 Bar LTBT. You can find this on Amazon uh, at Guitar Center. Um, it's a solid lighting kit and I'm quite happy with it. I've used these before and they do exactly what they're supposed to do. <laughs> so not too complicated, pretty straightforward. Um, great little value, great lighting kit. Thank you for watching.